Jog Vlog. Well, because I eat Christmas Eve dinner by myself, Christmas morning breakfast by myself, and I hate myself, I decided to watch Bright, the 2017 Will Smith movie on Netflix. Thumbs up for the two-door station wagon, yeah, my life. So, um, this movie sucks, but it was almost good. And that's the bad thing, because the, the truth is that this is Training Day meets Lord of the Rings. And if done right, that matchup is actually fairly unique and exciting, maybe. But done the way it is here, a bit of a letdown. Now, I will say that the movie finishes strong, and that's actually better than starting out strong and then finishing down. So this is kind of a tough movie to really rate, but I can understand why critics wanted to bash it. It's a $90 million Netflix original that I believe, along with that three billboards movie released in theaters, that one's in theaters and you can't watch it on Netflix. This is like same day made Oh, probably no money in theaters because everybody has a Netflix account and is going to watch it there. Why would I go to the theaters, right? You know, get prices of popcorn jacked up, right? So, yeah, this is very unusual. I understand that Netflix wants a sequel. I can kind of see a franchise coming of this, but I'll tell you, the combination of writer Max Landis and director David Ayer, not a good combo. See, David Ayer makes one kind of movie, and that is cop drama. And I'm not sure who exactly wrote in the flavorful dialogue that permeates throughout the beginning of this movie where everybody's talking shit, talking trash, F-bombs galore. It, you really exceeded the quota on the F-bombs here because, uh, am I covering that lens up? It devalues the language if everybody's a sailor. Okay, we we don't know who the good guy is, who or the good cop. I, I mean, okay, Will Smith is a black LA cop who has an orc as a partner. There's elves, there's fairies, uh, magic. I guess things happened in the past. It's like Lord of the Rings was two thousand years ago, and now um, was it Sauron? might return, basically. Oh, but in order to bring him back, you have to have these three magic wands to summon him. And wands are really powerful, scary stuff. You have to report that to the magic authority, the FBI uh, suits guys. And these are just LA cops. They get called in onto, onto a noise complaint, and then shit goes down for them. And it becomes training day for sure, where it's just... Everybody in the area is after them. So, uh, try and run through the plot here. Will Smith plays Ward, and his partner, uh, I can't remember his last name, uh, I'm just going to go with Nick, uh, Joel Egerton, in orc uh, makeup, actually. They're, they're two of the brighter spots in the movie, particularly Joel Egerton. I know, um, you know, he's... He's not talking in his usual Australian accent, and so you have to give him props. Well, he's such a good actor, he can pull off an American accent, right? As an orc. Okay, so sometime back, uh, Will Smith was shot in the chest. He survived. His partner, Nick, pursued the orc that shot him and then let him get away, they suppose. Their internal affairs, internal affairs looking at this, and... So there's a lot of questions that arise about loyalty. You loyal to your your blood, or you loyal to being a cop? I want to be a cop since I was a kid. I'm a cop, you know, that kind of thing. But then you have uh, this, and and it's convoluted mess. And I'm I'm making more sense out of it than the movie does here. There's some witch who needs to unite these three wands so that she can summon Sauron, it basically. One witch in training, who is her sister, got away with one of the wands, and she's sending people out to look for her. Now, this is kind of done in an exposition bomb by a crazy guy who gets himself arrested, wielding a sword in the middle of an intersection, just so that he can go to talk to the magic cops, 
and drop this exposition bomb on the audience. That's the best way I can sort this shit out. The officers who respond to the noise complaint where the gunfight and, and magic fight is going off uh, trying to find this girl in her wand um, are, are Nick and Ward, who I'm struggling not to say Will Smith here. And uh, they're getting shot at. They return fire. It's really confusing about who they shot. And if they shot a guy that was part of this uh, guild protecting the rogue witch who's trying to help them out, why was he shooting at the cops? Like, what the hell? Cops show up and they say, hey, we're, we're, you're going to uh, pin this all on um, on Nick. Uh, that's, that's the way this is going down. Uh, we're taking the wands. And it's so weird because they act like they're zombies. Okay, they're crooked cops, but they, they don't have to act like we're under control. <laughs> I don't think they got to them like that. Now, if there's magic in the movie... A lot of things get thrown out the window. There's funny shit that happens that probably shouldn't be funny. This movie tries to take itself too seriously, but with its dialogue, I almost couldn't tell if it was like a um, funny or die short. Like something, something serious will go down, and then it'll cut to this view of the city, and there'll be a dragon flying over. And I'm just like, ha, dragons. <laughs> Hard to take seriously. Um... Will Smith turns on those cops, kills them. One of them's Margaret Cho, who I vaguely recognized. Uh, then we have Latinos want to go after them, and then the orcs come and get them. They they get, drop in on some orc party and shit, and they're they're fleeing with this witch, played by Lucy Fry. No relation, okay? I swear. Whose character I freaking despise and brings down this movie so very much. Here's why. You can't just do Leela Dallas multi-pass on us again, okay? This is part of why I hated season one, The Stranger Things. Eleven is Leela Dallas. What? I can barely talk, uh, uh, but I, I have abilities. Uh, I'll just use them when it's most convenient. I freaking hate that kind of character. And you know what? Fifth Element does it a lot better. There's a better explanation behind, oh, hey... Mila Jovovich can't speak English very well. Why is that? Well, she, okay. She's kind of just materialized and is new to the world. She's an alien. What are you here? Where have you been? Oh, later on in the movie, she speaks English fine. Hell, she's even wearing the clothes of Leela Dallas multi-pass. She's got overalls. It's just like, shit's sake, what is... Whoa. The unoriginal crack people are smoking these days. Well, it's revealed that as the orcs capture the three heroes here, um, that there was a young boy that Nick, Nick was chasing the guy who shot Ward. And in doing so, he, he, he got mixed up and he, he, he found this kid who's dressed as him and he's alone in the, in the alley and the cops are coming. If he doesn't help this kid escape, the cops are going to shoot him dead because the cops are racist towards orcs. And it's interesting how it makes for this like parable with the uh, the race tensions, but then everybody has some kind of weird race thing. So the orcs, they're not the Mexicans, they're not the blacks, because we have those, and they have their issues in the film. They're the insane clown posse. <laughs> the elves are the Jews and the Asians. They have the money of the Jews and the acrobatic ninja fighting skills of the Asians. And that's who they are. And yeah, you're gonna call me racist, but you already were going to, right? The stupid shit that goes down here, though, they, they're they captured, and and the, this guy's like uh, insane clown posse leader. He's like, okay, my son gets his, his colors tonight. Go ahead and kill them. And he's like, I can't, that's the cop that saved me. It's like, ah, oh, okay, so this is coming around, full circle. Dad's like, all right, go home. I'm doing it myself, shoots me anyways. What the, then what was the point of that scene? What, what value did that give to the movie to, for his reprieve to just be null and void like this? That's some bullshit. Oh, but death doesn't matter because a uh, crazy elf witch bitch has the wand and she brings him back to life. So now we know that none of this even matters. All right, you bring characters back to life, I start checking out of your damn movie. Furthermore, Will Smith has a wife and a kid, and for no reason. Like, in a movie like this, it needs to be set up a, and then 
you have some kind of punchline to it. Like there's a payoff to, okay, so so I have the wife and the kid. Okay, the cops on the force are bad. Okay, call my wife. Get the kid. Get out of here. Last time you see them. Just the kid you only saw at the beginning, she checks out and it's gone. The wife gets a call. All right, you're gone. Nothing. It, it, what difference does that make? Now, I'll tell you what sh that should have been done differently. So the kids should have been captured. Ki the wife and the kid, okay? And at the end of the movie, we have a big fight between, um, the, the, I guess, the three heroes, I suppose, and, and the witch and her, her team of elf ninjas. And uh, the, the evil witch is Numi Rapace, who you all hate from, um, uh, I was about to say Alien, uh, but uh, Prometheus, that shithole. I just forgot to mention, when Numi Rapace shows up on the scene to go get uh, the rogue witch who took off with the wand she needs, all this shit, she goes to the house of the like, Hispanic family that called in the cops and kills them all, and then walks over to a baby, puts her hand over its mouth, and then off camera, we're supposed to assume the baby died. We never gain confirmation that the baby lived, so we assume it died. It, it's just distasteful to have this go down the movie. We get it, she's the bad guy. We don't need to see this. We don't have to make this the Hitler, okay? Another thing about that, why does she have to walk around like she's like some kind of snake person, all getting up in everybody's grill? They've, they're from Earth, right? Can, even if you're bad, you can still act like a freaking person. So, it's 10 degrees outside. This is why I'm not running, guys. It, it's freakishly cold out, and uh, I just wanted to get this review out in my garage while it's still freaking freezing. Um, there's a fight. Shit goes down. Uh, if you touch a wand, you blow up if you're not a bright. A bright is a someone who can do magic, who who is allowed to touch the wand, and that's the title of the film and, and whatever. So there's not many brights is the idea, and the only way to find out if you're bright is if you can pick up the wand and not explode. And in order to save everybody, Will Smith needs to grab the wand and use it, but he doesn't know any spells. He picks up the wand, he's, it's like, whoa shit, he's a human bright, wow, one in a million. And then uh, the Lucy Fry Good Witch, whatever, does the spell, blasts her sister, as it's revealed, into oblivion. But then she goes missing too, but we think she's okay anyways. That place catches fire. Uh, Nick uh, uh, goes in and gets Will Smith, and, and everybody gets out okay, and they're having their bad boys moment. Oh, man, yeah, this is a rough day, yep. Then they go talk to the magic people. Uh, the Magic FBI, and they're like, okay, make up a story. Here, here we go. Roll with it, Nick. The buddy cop thing, why did it come on so late in the movie? Like, that would have been nice to have these humorous asides throughout, you know, like a goddamn 90s action movie. I, anybody rem remember that shit? Because Hollywood doesn't. Shit, Will Smith, you were in some of the best shit, and you... God damn it. So... They're getting their awards at the end. Even the cops that they killed that were crooked are getting uh, anointed, along with this one that was actually a good sheriff. And anyways, but I think he's here because Will Smith met uh, uh, met him on um, shit. What was it? And this is also the same director as Suicide Squad. Those Suicide Squad looked entirely different. David Ayers, I don't know what his thing is. <laughs> like, it, it's so hit and miss with him. Like, does he need to be reeled in? Does he need to be let go? I don't know. I know Max Landis doesn't need to be writing shit. Maybe you had the idea for the movie, and that should have maybe been it. Because you can't write dialogue for shit. And uh, your circumstances at the end of this are preposterous. Okay, so Will Smith is the bright, the one in the million. Why not his kid? Why not his wife? Wouldn't that have actually given some kind of purpose to them having characters in the movie? What do I know? I'm just a guy who lives in Kansas. Ah, oh, bright. I give it two out of four stars. Like, comment, share, follow, subscribe. Von Jog Vlog is made possible by your support on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Vaughn Fry. Because fuck Google.